I was about to go and get the... Uh, if this works, it'd be brilliant. I was about to go and get the um, other fish and just randomly try them. It's not a ghost chicken. It's a seagull. Uh, it was a nice idea, though. So what's going to fill up a seagull? Bloaters might. Actually, I can do this, can't I? So let's go here. Which is going to be kind of annoying because... Um, I'm going to have to go back and forth all the time to change these. Hello. Items. Can I trade in my fish for some other ones? All the way today. We yep. Now, mm. lump sucker, hagfish, slime head. How would we know? Oh, bloater. Bloater. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. Best idea I've got. We we fill it up, we bloat it up. Where's where's it on scurvy island, isn't it? I don't remember reading anything about seagulls, so they're semi bloated. That's not it. Can I not combine the fish with something else? I need to feed it something else. Try crackers. It's not a parrot, it's a seagull. Have we had any clues how to deal with a bloody seagull? Hi, note. I'm working due east of the waterfall and due south of camp today. Um, limes, 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 limes. Okay. All right. Uh, boarding pamphlet. Get inspired. Follow his lead. Commit fraud. Throw tantrums. Betray trust. How come we've got to tick through that? Is that the... Uh, Customs form? Interesting. Green things are limes. That's for scurvy treatment. It doesn't want those. Can't tickle it with a feather. I'm gonna go and talk about the fish. Let's let's go let's go back here and talk about the fish to the fish people and let's see if they give us any clues. I want the high street for this. Hello. Um hmm. Bella Fisher's fishing spot. Tell me again about Bella Fisher's fishing spot. Three clues they say she left behind as to where it was. But no one knows what sort of clues they'd be. All rumors, of course. Probably nothing to it. All right. I think I'll browse mm. today's catch. You'll find none better. At the end of the plank. What do you feed her? Feed her. Can't take the fish. Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal use. They're excellent for burping contests. Care to join us? Don't mind if I do. Winner gets to keep the blowfish. Okay. I'd miss this. I guess I don't have to do anything special. <laughs> oh. Hi, well done. I hereby declare this a draw. That was gross. We need a better berth, don't we? 
Hey, how about a burping contest? Oh, always. Winner keeps the blowfish. Okay. <gasps> skip, 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 skip. We can't skip. I must use something on the blowfish first. <gasps> I'll try the other one. Yuck. Maybe I need to drink something fizzy first. Aye, well done. I hereby declare this a draw. I won that one. Can we use anything on that? Gross. Looks like day old avocado soup. Don't have anything we can treat the blowfish with. I feel like I might need the blowfish for one of those challenges. <sighs> Limes. We're getting desperate now, aren't we? <sighs> Can't switch them over. Well, if no one's going to talk to me about... Uh... I'm hunting for the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? What a prize. I know. They say the pirate what holds the secret can never be sunk. That the wind always fills his sails. In the old days, we might have gone after it ourselves. But we've got new fish to fry, so to speak. Hey, Nether Tales. Mm. I know, I need a fizzy drink. Any drinks in the game. The only ones I've found... Um, I'll just, I'll just leave. Thank I think I'll much. browse today's cat. Thank you. You'll find um, none better. Stop it. We've got some grog. Just says gross. Just says gross. Looks like day old avocado soup. We can't mm. give it to them. It did. The guy at the dock did say what flavor that was. Wasn't this closer to the box before? What are these little yellow guys? They're lump suckers. Easy to eat and great for sucking out cysts and boils. Ooh. Mm. Um, easy to eat. That's got to be a clue for the uh, eating contest, right, with the queen? But it did say that they wanted to use the toadfish in that. I'd like to trade my fish oh, in no, for don't. some hagfish. Fine choice. Wrong thing. I'll put it on your tab. Let Thanks. Me, let me ask about the hagfish. Ah, just thinking about not imagining it is making me imagine it. They're slimy and pointy. They look a little ripe. Toadfish stink. That's not really a clue. What are these? I don't really want to know. Well, I feel like... Oh, they're not going to tell me anything more about them. I know fish can't blink, and I want to keep on knowing that. Hmm. I don't... I, it says I need toadfish for that eating contest, but I'm not convinced. The fact that it said these are easy to eat. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's just... Uh... I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll fall. It's, it's random. I'd like to trade my fish in for some lump suckers. Mm. Cute little fellas, aren't they? But it's a guess. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. I'm not sure what else to do with it. Oh, there's a flag. I think I need the flag at some point. What's that flag with all the holes in it? Quite proud of that. We caught it up in a fishing net one day. Tis one of the signature flags of Bella Fisher herself. Bella Fisher? That was Bella Fisher's flag? That's what I said, yes. Can I have it? Is the flag for sale? Bite your tongue! That's property of the chums! Shh! Who? The who? Mm. No one! It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Hmm. Can I join the chums? Well... 
Sorry folks, I had to mute the mic there, the phone was going. I can tell a good story. Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Ah. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can, then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with oh, that God. young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. I think I know where some of them are. He's got one for a start. Mm. Except I don't think that counts, so... I'll just... I I'll think sleep. I'll browse today's catch. You'll find... Right, leave that. I know where there's one straight away. It's in the locksmiths. Hi there. Hi. Hello again. Um, would your mother perhaps be known as Old Mrs. Smith? Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older. How come that wasn't an option to ask her earlier? Have you heard of the Golden Keys? Sure. My mother had one of them. Had? She left it to me in her will. I need that. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. When my mother died, her personal possessions went into probate with the court. When they came out of probate, I was still too devastated to claim them. As you can see from this letter the court sent, they and the key have been destroyed. Well, this is an unexpected wrinkle. That is unexpected. What happened to your mother's golden key? As you can see from the letter I gave you, the court destroyed the key. Hmm. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Uh, what if I use this? Admire my chum's fishing lure. I show this to other people who have them to start a storytelling session. Greetings, fellow chum. <laughs> Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time, my ship was swallowed by a manatee. My ship was swallowed by a whale. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Did someone get married or killed or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. Okay. One time. Uh, my ship was swallowed by a whale. My ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. Then Morgan knocked me out and sold me to my enemies. We stuck a hook in the beast's mouth and caught it from the inside. That would be the fishing story. Let's try that one. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. I think you've got a lock on it. I can tell it's early in your training. Find some other members of the chums, and they'll help you hone your skills. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know how many there are in... Oh, hang on. There's a, can't do anything with a seagull. I, hey, Guybrush! We're back. For no particular the use. The lamp broke. Possibly an improvement. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Two, no earthquakes. Useful? Very useful. Let's have a look at this letter. Probate Order 1673832, pursuant to Statute E, Section C, Subsection IS. By order of the court, the following unclaimed personal effects have been destroyed. Golden key, fancy box. Looks official. It's got a wax seal of a parrot on it. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me a minute, folks. I'm just going to take...
Sorry about that, folks. All right, we should be back. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, just an emergency call from my wife. I was supposed to be looking after next door's dog, and apparently nobody told us about it. So, he doesn't have a, a thing. Um, I was thinking about the court order thing here. Just make sure we've got the, the volume on again. Let's just um, let's wander off out the door. I don't remember seeing anything else around here. What was this place? Oh, this has been trashed. Wally? What happened here? Wally's shop has been ransacked. Where's Wally? Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? I guess he's not here. And he's probably not okay. That's been done, okay. Um, so there was another lure down here. He's got one. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. They did say I'm it, not huh? any closer to caring about it. Good for you. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. My ship was swallowed by a whale. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. You know, what your story needs, it's a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Okay. Hmm, the demon look how we could go with that. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden. Our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. Hmm. This is a bad story. I helped her escape when night fell. We still write from time to time. Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> Your story's not bad. But it's missing a few things. Find some other chums to help you fill in the gaps. I'll do that. I think I think we'll continue with the whale eating story. Um Don't get any funny ideas while I'm away from the ship. No problem. I'll pretend I'm one of the writers. All right, so did did they have a fishing lure? No. I can't just give the limes to these people, can I? You should try limes. They help prevent scurvy. Where did you hear that? Is that more of your science mumbo jumbo? You need to leave before you catch scurvy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Have a look at this flyer online. I need to get that marketed. Uh, ascorbic acid deficiency, collagen synthesis, mucous membranes. Hey, that is a bunch of science nonsense. We won't have any of that around here. It's all a trick to track our plunder. As if you have any plunder. Vaccine deniers, eh? Who'd have them? Bye. Don't let the scurvy bite you. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't remember seeing anyone on Terry, the Terry, Terra Island. There was a guard. Did he? Let me just talk to him again. Hold it! Are you sure you weren't followed? He does We're not. safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. Don't think there's anything else to talk to him about. I'm gonna explore the island a little bit. Holler if you um, find anything interesting. I don't think I have any special keys. We can't pick- Is that a sail? Oh, no. Oh wait. Leave that alone! No, I don't think that's going to work. Right, over to this, and we go and talk to the guard in the quarry. That's the only one of these I've seen. Mm. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? Hmm. Hmm. 
I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. Don't we know when about you that? use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Okay, I'm going to practice this one. Okay. Right. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden... It's getting better, is this? My ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. <laughs> then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. Yeah, that's the way. You almost sound like a real angler. I have given you my best tip. See if you can get some other chums to do the same. I'll do that. There's, there's more? Really? Where's the to-do list? Get the museum's real... F Wait, there's a real flag in the museum? Oh, okay. I need to go back to the museum. Become a high-ranking chum. Alright. I didn't think there was anyone else here, though. Where's it put me? Don't think there's anyone. Oh wait, the queen. Does the queen? The sheer chum. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's not, is he? He is not. Leave the courthouse. I don't think she is either. And also, what fish do I have with me? Right, I'll try that when we do the challenge. I will try that. I don't think it's going to be the right one. Please tell me. Oh, good. It's, it's skipped forward a bit. Um, she doesn't look like a chum. So, that's that done then. Can't take the firewood. Warm my... Why do I want to warm my hands? Ah. This entire castle is made of ice. Thank goodness there's a fire. Ready to be freezing. There's all these options to always warm your hands. And I... I I think that there must be a reason for that. But I have no idea. Oh, wait, wait. There might be, yeah, Elaine. She might be an angler. I don't think she is. Wrong one. Let's put these fish in. Says these are easier to eat. I'm going to ring the bell. It's going to say they're the wrong fish. Today's challenge fish is toadfish. <laughs> Wait a moment. This is not the right type of fish. I must call off the contest until the matter is corrected. Also, let me remind you all of Local Ordinance 217 regarding the falsification of contest materials. Consider yourselves under caution. Okay, we have been warned. Interesting. Um, but it was worth a try, so it has to be the toadfish in there. That's very curious, is that? Right, let's go and see. Uh, there was nobody on there, was there? Was, he didn't have a, a law. The governor might. She might have had one. 
still don't know what big rock is. She's Hi. got one. Hi. She was a part of the secret society and never told me. Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush, you've joined the chums. I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden... I did have the demon pepper. No, uh, we don't have the demon pepper. I used the tip of a red hot poker to do that food thing with, the, um, with Flambe. My ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. Okay. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. It started to crack the ship in half. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. A guy already inside thought I wanted to steal his girlfriend. I think it's telling me to do this one. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. Oh, well, we've got some more to do. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would, it would burn in the water. Made a fishing line with my own hair. I made a fishing line with my own hair. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. I think you've got it. <laughs> this could be a whole new path for you, Guybrush. You know who you should talk to? Apple Bob? You'll have to go back to LeChuck's ship, of course, but he's worth it. Thanks. Apple Bob? He was one of these? I would never have thought of talking to one of these. The story's Greetings, getting fellow ridiculous, chum. by the way. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. Okay, and then, all of a sudden, my ship was... It was gross. I made a fishing... Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish, glistening like liquid silver, dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh, that does <laughs> seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Okay, this better be the last stage of this. Okay. I was bait, and then, right. all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed oh. by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. I did see some of their options for that. Ooh. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. Nice. Oh, God. One false move, and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. I think this is the right one, though. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. Dazzling. You weave a story like a wicker placemat with a mosaic of coffee stains. Is that good? Tightly woven and useful. The coffee stains give it character. You should tell a story at the Cod's Wallop. Let's go. 
can't do anything else in the game, but I can tell a good fishing story, apparently. <laughs>